Good morning and welcome to all, especially this morning as we celebrate this liturgy for Jerry O'Leary. <clears throat> and so we will begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And at this time, family members will bring up some of the gifts that they wish to bring up that are associated with uh, his life uh, since he worked in Cadbury's in Rathmore. We share something in common in that both of us, he and I, went to the same secondary school in Mill Street. And I think it's only appropriate that we say, we remember the teachers in Mill Street as well, they also have gone before us. And I'm sure they were there to welcome him as he set foot on the other side of the grave. And so, first of all, Cadbury's chocolate. Oh. I'd never be heard if that was going on. First of all, <clears throat> we're having Cadbury's chocolate, especially his favorite, crunchies. I like those too myself, which is associated with his first job. Uh, secondly, his music, uh, his interest on, uh, was real. Uh, he liked especially recordings and many recordings of Schlieve Lucre music. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without a golf ball. Uh, he certainly enjoyed his games of golf. And finally, of course, his phone. He constantly kept in touch with all his siblings, with his nieces and with his nephews and home, and indeed, so many others uh, throughout his life. Phones we can't do without anymore, and certainly he used it <clears throat> for all it was worth. And so, as well, we welcome here this morning uh, two of his family. Um, first of all, John, who has come to us from the United States, and uh, his son, and Damien, his nephew. Uh, he was also <coughs> his deceased by uh, two of his sons, James and Kevin, and his daughter-in-law, uh, Whitney, and also, of course, by his parents, Patrick and Mary O'Leary, and his brother, John, who is also deceased. His mourners here this morning, of course, uh, sorry, not here this morning, but uh, certainly join with us, I'm sure, his wife, Eileen, uh, John, of course, is here, and uh, wife, uh, Joy, and Jackie, who could not be here for, sorry, he's, he's uh, mourned, I was mistaken, mine, mourned by his wife, Eileen, and by his sons, uh, Pat and John, and their wives, Joy and Jackie. For his grandchildren, Brett and Jade, and Shay and Leah, and for his nephew, Damien, and his wife, Amy, and their children, Ashling and Finney. And his siblings, of course, were here, Betty and Nora and Willie, and their families and indeed for all who have gathered here this morning to celebrate this liturgy with us. And so let us pray. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Music. They wish to play now, they're waiting for me.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy in us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened. May our hope of resurrection for your departed uh, servant also find new strength through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. And now we'll have the readings. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the virtuous are in the hands of God. No torment shall ever touch them. In the eyes of the unwise, they did appear to die. And their going looked like a disaster. They're leaving us like an annihilation, but they are in peace. Their hope was rich with immortality. Slight was their affliction. Great will their blessing be. God has put them to the test and proved them worthy to be with him. He has tested them like a gold in a furnace and accepted them as a holocaust. Those who trust in him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful will live with him in love. For grace and mercy await those he has chosen. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The life and death of each of us has its influence on others. If we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So that alive or dead, we belong to the Lord. This explains why Christ both died and came to life. 
it was so that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. We shall all have to stand before the judgment seat of God, as scripture says, by my life. It is the Lord who speaks. Every knee shall bend before me, and every tongue shall praise God. It is to God, therefore, that each of us must give an account of, our, of, him, of himself. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus journeyed to a city called Naim, and his disciples and a large crowd accompanied him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. A large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he was moved with pity for her and said to her, Do not weep. He stepped forward and touched the coffin. At this the bearers halted and he said, Young man, I tell you, arise. The dead man sat up and began to speak. And Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all and they glorified God, exclaiming, a great prophet has risen in our midst, and God has visited his people. This report about him spread through the whole of Judea and in all the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. We are celebrating this liturgy this morning and it is indeed an appropriate time to celebrate it after what has transpired over the last several days. Holy Week, as we know, has just gone by and so has the Tridium of Good Friday, Holy Saturday, an Easter morning. And on Easter morning, all that had transpired before, all the sorrow and the pain and the loss and the confusion and everything else that went along with it was all set aside, all gone, just like a cloud in the sky because Christ the Lord had risen from the dead. And how appropriate that on the very day after we should be celebrating this liturgy for one who started out from here and has returned as well, has returned now to be with the family and of course to have been already welcomed by that very one who rose on Easter Sunday morning. All of us 
are confused with death. Some accept it more easily than others. But one and all, each and every one of us face it in time. Now that we are here today, we are celebrating the resurrection of Christ and at the same time for our brother who is now gone to the Father in heaven. Death is never easy, especially for immediate family. But at the same time, we live because of the hope that Christ has placed before every one of us, the hope of resurrection. You know, I'm reminded so often of that one who was crucified at the side of Jesus. And Jesus promised him paradise that day. He was an outcast of society, put to death because of whatever he had done, but was forgiven by none other than the Son of God. So, even though we mourn, at the same time, we rejoice because that very Son of God has made that promise to each and every one of us. And where more appropriate than to be today here in this church, celebrating his life, but now celebrating his entry to heaven. And let each and every one of us Look forward, too, to the day when we join him and join our family members, our brothers and sisters, and all the saints who have sat and worshipped in this church since the very beginning of the time it was built. They, too, were there today to welcome him as well. To each and every one of us, say to Jesus, thank you for coming among us and thanking you and thank you for welcoming our brother home. Amen. And now we'll have the prayer of the faithful. Surrounded by the sorrow of death, let us turn to Christ who alone has the words of eternal life. Jerry has departed his earthly home. May he reach the joy and peace of God's house. Lord, tears. Today we also remember all who have gone before him especially his sons, James and Kevin, and daughter-in-law, Whitney, his parents, Patrick and Mary, and his brother, John. May they be reunited in their heavenly home. Lord, hear us. For those who mourn him, especially Eileen, Pat, John, Betty, Willie, and Nora, may they be comforted by the knowledge that he awaits them in his, in his everlasting home. Lord, hear us. For those who cared for Jerry down through the years, may they be rewarded for their goodness. Lord, hear us. For the sick, those at home and in hospital, that they may find strength in the power of the cross and find hope in their faith. Lord, hear us. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And now we'll have the offertory gifts from Betty and Nora, uh, his sisters.
Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless to you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Yes, Humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by our Lord. May our sacrifice and sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look favorably on your offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servant may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, and that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an earthly dwelling is made, an eternal uh, dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and gave you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this, this cup, cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, and who is constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray you, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, which your servant Francis, our Pope, Ray, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for yourself, for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Jerry, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you are God as you are, we shall become like you for the, all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us share with one another a sign of peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life and receive it. I need some Eucharistic ministers.
May the receive your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, now bring me judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection of mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Oh. 
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your servant Jerry, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Death is only an horizon. We give them back to you, O Lord, who first gave them to us. And as you did not lose them in the giving, so we do not lose them in the return. Not as the world gives do you give, O lover of souls, for what is yours is ours also, if we belong to you. Life is unending because love is undying. And the boundaries of this life are but an horizon. And an horizon is but the limit of our vision. Lift us up, strong Son of God, that we may see further. Strengthen our faith that we may see beyond the horizon. And while you prepare a place for us, as you have promised, prepare us also for that happy place, that where you are, we may be also with those we have loved forever. And when I come to the end of the road and the sun has set for me, I want no tears in a gloom-filled room. Why cry for a soul set free? Miss me a little, but not for long, and not with your head bowed low. Remember the love that we once shared. Miss me, but let me go. For this is a journey we all must take and each must go alone. It's all a part of the master plan, a step on the road to home. So when you are lonely and sick of heart, go to the friends we know. Laugh at all the things we used to do. Miss me, but let me go. Thank you all for attending this celebration of life of my father, Jeremiah Francis O'Leary. My name is John O'Leary, and I hold the distinction of being his son, his legacy, and I serve in that role proudly. I'd first like to extend my appreciation to Father Pat and to Father Dan for facilitating this memorial service 
for my father. My father was born in Klunz, 1938, first born to Mary and Patrick, Patty O'Leary. He had attended Napanagree National School, followed on by secondary school, Kolasha Padraig. He emigrated to the United States in 1958, the age of 19, in pursuance of the American dream. His family doubted if in fact he would go as he had recently met a young girl named Eileen Looney. He decided to go, yet the Atlantic Ocean could not keep them apart. As soon afterwards, Eileen took flight to the United States to be with him. They were married for 63 years. My father settled in New York City and continued his education at Manhattan College while working full time at Pan Am Airlines. Upon graduation, he was employed at Price Waterhouse and he climbed the corporate ladder. And eventually, he left to work for a financial institution named Chemical Bank, now known as Chase Bank. His career there lasted approximately 30 years, and once again, he climbed that corporate ladder. And upon his retirement in 1995, he held a senior position at the bank with 5,000 people under his management. Professionally, he personified living the American dream. My father passed away peacefully at his home in Hope Sound, Florida on March the 1st. My mother and I were at his bedside. My dad was a wonderful human soul, and his love for his family was unconditional and unwavering. He was the leader of our band, and I was blessed to be his son. I am forever thankful for his kindness, his guidance, his love, <clears throat> and his affection. The most resounding guidance he instilled upon me was that in life, leave no stone unturned. I live by that mantra. The greatest compliment received in my journey to date is hearing someone tell me that in comparison to my dad, the fruit never falls far from the tree. In my case, not only did the fruit not fall from the tree, it rolled back towards its base. I know he knows how much I loved him and our time <clears throat> spent together. And I know he felt the same because we continuously turn that specific stone in our conversations. And for that, I am at peace. Rest easy, Dad, and in due time, we will be reunited again, along with James and Kevin, who I am sure gave you a warm welcome and loving embrace at the entrance of the gate of heaven. Until then, 
I will continue to turn stones. That's what you did and what I do. I am your legacy. And I am honored to carry that torch forward on your behalf. You will forever live in my heart because those we love never leave us. For there are things that death can never breach. May God bless you all. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ which conquers all things destroys even death itself. Saints of God, come to his aid. Hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present it to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present it to God the Most High. Eternal rest granted to him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Jerry in the sure of certain hope that together with, with, uh, together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you have bestowed upon our brother Jerry in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with the assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. In peace, let, it, let us take our brother to his place of rest. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the choirs of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham. And while Lazarus is poor no longer, may you find eternal rest. Eternal rest granted to him, O Lord, and may he rest in peace. And may his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. And if any of you wish to share Sympathy with your with the family. Just come up here on my far over side here and go across and go down the other side.